All right, we're gonna be taking that bad boy to work today. But real quick, I did not show this in my review video and I totally forgot. So Apollo gives you a nice toolkit. Literally, if you can see all this, it tells you every single bolt, how many there are in there and what they look like. And it's fantastic. I actually haven't even opened this yet. But check this out. So here's obviously the owner's manual if you need that. But here we go. Um, this is what I really wanted to show you guys. This is everything you need to put maintenance on that scooter. The fact that it comes with extra tubes, brake pads. These are extra bolts as well. Then you have an air pump tools right here. I don't even know what this is for, but this is massive. And then a huge wrench. So that is super cool that it comes with all that type of stuff. And I love that it just gives you this screw list and it tells you exactly what you need for every single thing on this scooter, just in case like you lose a bolt or whatever, and there are bolts in here. So kudos to Apollo for giving something to you like this, if you're gonna own this scooter. That is super cool, but let's get on the way and go to work. All right guys, so we're on our way to work right now. And I am excited for later on in the video to show you guys how nice this headlight is and the brake light because it looks so fantastic and I want to share that with you. So if you guys already saw my video review just the other day, if you want to skip through most of this video, then you can. I'm just going to kind of go over some stuff on the scooter. We're going to just ride in the city until I get to work. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the night footage, but we got to get there first. Let me use my bell. Move, move it. I came to a complete stop. Trust me, I did. You just didn't see it. I edited it out. <laughs> oh, man. Let me uh, show you real quick what this scooter looks like. If you guys didn't see the video review, let's pull over here. There's some people. We won't be here long. But uh, here is the scooter. It's just all black. You got one logo right there. You got a logo on the pad, which is actual rubber. I like this. It's kind of nice and soft. The deck is huge as well. Look how long this deck is compared to the Varla scooter that I reviewed. The V, was it the V2 or something? Um, it was very short. It's probably like right here is where it ended. So you're kind of limited on where you put your feet. Um, we do have cable brakes, not hydraulic brakes, but we have a regen brake as well. And I like the fact that we do have the time that the scooter is on. And if we skip through this, it would tell us our trip that we're on, the total miles we have on this already, and we get our voltage but I know the screen is very hard to see. So I'm gonna have to update you guys as we go on this ride of where we're at. So you're gonna have to take my word for it because even I can't see this display during the day. Like it's okay depending on where you're at, if the sun's not shining directly on it, but man, it's only really good at night, which is gonna be fantastic at night. Like I said, nighttime footage is gonna be way better than this, but we might run into some bad traffic if you guys want to see me probably almost get hit, which I hope not, because I'm going to be riding pretty damn fast today going to work. I left late, man. This is my first day coming back from vacation after uh, just kind of relaxing and kind of doing some videos, but also just chilling by myself and just trying to, you know, relax. We got the Tesla as well, so I've been dealing with that. It's a lot of stuff going on. So, uh, yeah, I was a little late today because you got to kind of get in the groove again, so... I'm getting there though, I'm getting there. I'm waking up, I had a Red Bull. We're all right, all right, here comes a bump. Oh, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. I'm expecting my feet to not hurt on this scooter coming to work. That's the one thing that I'm looking forward to because man, when I got off that Varla scooter, when I went all the way to work, man, my feet really hurt. Now, I don't know if my feet are still gonna feel like jello at the end because you are standing up. It's not something I'm used to. So if you guys are used to like e-bikes and you may be looking in to get a scooter just because it's a little bit smaller and more compact and you can get around places or whatever, or you don't have the room for a big old bike, then uh, that's something that you're gonna experience like right away. Excuse me, man, excuse me, man. excuse me, excuse me. I like the fact that in Ludo mode, this thing does have some decent power. So you should be able to get around traffic this is gonna be a little sketch. Got my hand on the brake just in case. This guy's probably like, what the heck? All right. I just realized that we can't go this way. We have to go all the way down. That's right. So they're doing construction going that way. So we have to go this way. Just gotta take a little detour, not like too, too bad. 
But at least this thing's fast enough. Woo, it's bumpy. But it felt nice and smooth. I definitely felt the bumps though, but it wasn't jarring. All right, so we're gonna have to take this road. They just did it, so it should be nice and smooth after this first section. There we go, look at this. This was blocked off for the longest time, so now we can come this way. Hey, there we go. Woo hoo hoo. Yeah. Not too bad of a detour. There was no way I was gonna be able to go in the dirt with this with those big old mounds that they've been like doing lately. All right, let me go this way. Is that the new Mustang Mach-E? Thing's clean. All right, let's go over this way. There we go. All right, we're getting places pretty quick. This thing is fantastic to maneuver and all that kind of stuff because I love the tires on it. They feel so good on the street because they're made for the street. So I love this thing so far. And if it is a little bit too bumpy for you guys, it does have quadruple suspension and you can adjust every single one of them. They're like coilovers on a car. And the way they're adjusted right now for me, they're like 75% tight. So if you want to go up a little bit, you can. All right, this guy's over, so we're not going to hit him. We good, we good. I will say that uh, this is going to be the bumpiest part of this trip. There is so many uh, like bumps over here. So we might have to go a little bit slower depending on how rough it gets. So just bear with me, folks. I am not trying to go down before work. If I don't make it to work, they're gonna think I'm taking an extended vacation and uh, not wanting to come in because after I go in today, I'm actually off for two more days. <laughs> So I might knock out another video review. I'm not sure, or I might just worry about getting my car back because right now it's in the shop. It's getting some PPF put on it, window tint, so I got to pick it up on my day off, and then I need a ceramic coat it. So we got a lot of stuff going. So just trying to uh, deal with all of it. Woo, man, it is windy. So I'm only being able to hit, oh, it's bumping right here, 62 uh, kilometers per hour. And I don't even know what that is. You guys might know what it is. I don't know how to like calculate every single kilometer per hour to miles per hour. But um, I wasn't able to get this thing in miles per hour still. I don't know why, I just couldn't do it. I went into the app, I changed it from metric to imperial and vice versa. I kept going back and forth. Nothing seemed to change it. It said it did, but then it was still in kilometers. So who knows, ow, okay. Here's where the really big bumps come in. Oh man, big old chunks of the ground taken out. Since this thing will peel out if you uh, hit the throttle too much, I'm gonna take it just a little slower. So one thing I suggest if you guys get a scooter is, uh, oh man, even the brake uh, slid pretty good, is be careful on um, your roads. If you're wanting to go fast on this thing, make sure you know the road you're on first. Don't be dumb and think like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna haul ass on this road I've never been on and then hit a pothole, you know what I'm saying? So. All right, a lot of people get in the bike lane right here, so I'm just going to kind of uh, wait for them, wait for them. Okay, they can. We're going. Let's see how we do coming uphill. Let's see, let's see. All right, so I'm getting 53 to 54 kilometers per hour coming up this overpass. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now, I will say it feels a little weird wearing a backpack while uh, riding this scooter and everything like that. I got a lot of weight on my back. All right, let's see what our top speed is coming down this really quick. Getting a lot of vibration. And I said that in my video review when you pass like, I want to say somewhere around 60 kilometers per hour or 64 kilometers per hour. We're doing, uh, we are doing 68 kilometers right there, max. But yeah, I was, I'm getting a vibration from the front. I don't think it's the tire. I checked and they are aired up to where they should be. People are nuts. You see that guy? Did you see that guy coming towards me? He went around all this stuff. He went right in there in the bike lane too. Like, not even supposed to go this way. I don't know what's up with people. Just go on the other side of the road and make a U-turn. Another thing I gotta keep in mind is I gotta start using the regen. I'm so used to just having my hand right here on the brake. But I really need to uh, have my thumb like this. So I can't hold both at the same time. It feels too weird. It's way too far apart. The L shape on my hand is just not big enough. I can't move this closer to the grip. So I have to put my hand fully like this. Then 
I can use the region. But if I wanted to, I guess I can use this. There we go. It just I got to get used to doing this. I'm normally used to having my hand on this one. So I guess I could do that. But I really want to start using this region because that puts more battery power back into the, the pack. So that'll give you your most range possible if you always use region. All right now, right now we're going pretty fast. 66 kilometers per hour. We're jamming. And I hope they fix this stupid thing over here. Because last time it was just a bunch of stupid... Oh, no, they didn't fix it. It's just a bunch of, like, nasty-ass cement. Lovely. Hey, that's a clean uh, Tesla. That looks like the x pill Stealth. Woo! I knew that pothole was coming. I had a brace for it, but we're good. We're good. Coming down this, we're hitting 71 kilometers per hour. I don't know how fast that is, but I think that's definitely over 41 miles per hour, if I'm not mistaken. Dang, we're jamming. Feels nice and smooth, too, other than that slight vibration I said. But other than that, like... Oh, righty. I don't know why that guy was going to try to get in front of me, like, and then just cut me off. Nah, man, nah. You see how fast I'm going? Get behind me. Woo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, make sure when that front wheel comes up off the ground when you're hitting like potholes, it likes to peel out after uh, the wheel hits the ground again because it's free spinning from hitting that pothole. All right, so uh, we did probably 6.5 miles and we're down to 53.5 or 53.4 on voltage. Down one battery bar right now. So let's see, it says 64% remaining. Hey, how's it going? The time it took me from my house over here and I had it kind of sitting for a second before I left, it was 14 minutes, not too bad. So man. So not too bad to get to work. Honestly, if I take my car, I gotta take the freeway. It's too busy like hitting all the street lights in uh, the city. And I will get here roughly for 12 to 14 minutes. So not too bad, a scooter is just as fast as using a car and you're not uh, spending any gas money. It's a lot cheaper to charge these. So anyways, the most exciting part I'm ready for this video is nighttime. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let me lock this thing up and then uh, we'll check out all these lights. This one's cool. This one's really cool. And then the brake light as well. All right, we're in the same spot we left off at and I'm getting off work. So uh, let me undo my scooter lock, which uh, this is what I use if you guys were interested in uh, how I lock up my bike. I got a very long one because, well, I, I said bike, but scooter. Um, this is how I do my bikes and my scooters and whatever I bring. I just lock them up to something like this or put them on the ladder over here. But you have to get a long one because you never know how close you need to be to it. So I like this thing. So uh, this is what I use. But anyways, uh, see you guys in a second outside. That's something nice I didn't even think about was a turning radius. Like when moving it places, like you can go completely sideways to move it around. Hey, Brett, you want to try it? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean you're not interested in my scooters? <laughs> All right, Brett. Have a good night, man. What's up? <laughs> Not much. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Good. Uh, it's 41 miles an hour. It gets up pretty decent. 41? Yeah. Well, be careful. Yeah, I know, right? I just got to make sure I get home. Yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys. Well, I don't know when I see you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, woo, while we slide <laughs> to come push this button to go across the main street where we can end up getting hit. Um, I actually got off early today. Um, I'm not working until midnight, so that's why there's a lot of traffic right now. And uh, the three-day weekend just ended, but I still feel like people are still traveling. Look at that car go, the Model Y. Get out of here, go, go, go. Can't even tell he's hauling ass. But look at how this display looks at night. And you can see how long I've actually had this on since I was trying to leave work, but I ran into some people I was talking to. We're still down one battery bar. And to turn the headlight on is uh, two taps with the power button. So 
just keep that in mind if you need to know like how to do it Woo -hoo -hoo. i gotta get used to uh the takeoff i have the acceleration you can go from one to ten i have it on ten right now so that's why it always pills out everywhere i go so i just gotta get used to it so here you go here's a decent look at this headlight it's not adjustable so it's gonna sit exactly where you see it on yours but it's not bad it really lights up a lot of stuff surprisingly i was a little worried about it now i would maybe like it to go a little tiny bit farther out but right now i'm coming uphill so let me get onto the the trail over here where it's completely dark and uh we'll see how it is but real quick before i do that let me tell you that when i got to work my feet did not hurt now did i still feel like a little like uncomfortable compared to being on the e-bike yeah of course but definitely did not have any like hurt legs or anything like that with the varla scooter i definitely felt that it wasn't as comfortable that's one weird thing about being on one of these in traffic it feels weird compared to a bike i think i'd rather be on a bike in traffic <laughs> it just feels uh very very weird Dang, there was an obstacle to get through there. <laughs> Definitely had to be careful. All right, so uh, let me go up a little ways and let me uh, stop like right here. <laughs> man, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I am sliding everywhere, breaking this thing. And oh man, we just went down another battery bar. Holy moly, okay. I mean, I am riding in Ludo mode the whole entire time. So here we go, here's the headlight. Not too bad, right? Let me turn it off so you guys can get an idea on this pitch black trail and how it looks. Oh, I didn't hit it good enough. There we go. And, oh, it has like a delay. So you can't hit it twice and it pop off and hit it again really quick for it to turn back on. So I just figured that out. But the headlight's good. Brake light is pretty good too. I love how it flashes. It actually looks really bright when it's flashing. It is dim though. I will say even getting down low, this thing is definitely really dim compared to uh, like e-bikes and it's so low on the ground. But when you do hit this, it definitely gets brighter. So that does look really good when you're braking, but unfortunately it's not that great when uh, you're not doing that. But here, let's get out of here. One, two, three. <laughs> this thing is high quality, man. This thing is awesome. I don't feel afraid on it. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It just feels so like comfortable and premium in the hands when I'm riding that. It doesn't feel scary to ride. It doesn't feel like, oh, it's gonna fall apart or, oh my God, I'm worried about this collapsing. The front of the stem up here feels great. Now, most times you can't really let both hands off of a scooter, but I'm gonna try it, all right? So look at that. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm not going that fast, guys, but still, I did let my hand off of the scooter and that's something you never really wanna do on a scooter. Go uh, watch some videos of people riding scooters and taking their hand off to like say something to somebody. They definitely uh, fall down. All right, it's hard to see people on this trail. I'm glad that guy saw me before I saw him. Like I said, the headlight is great and bright. I just wish it went a little tiny bit farther out. But hey, you guys can always pick up a light if you really want to go a little farther out and put it on the handlebars if you really want. Ooh, one thing you gotta pay attention is trees. Oh my God, trees will hit you in the face. <laughs> I got hit really bad just now because you're standing on a platform. You're not sitting down like you are on an e-bike. So. I had two branches just hit me in the head. You definitely feel really high off the ground on these things and it feels amazing. I am definitely into electric scooters. Something I realized that it helps is uh, if you need to take some weight off like your back foot or something like that, I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see the scooter or anything like that, but if you stand over the scooter like this, you can kind of put a little bit of extra weight on your uh, front foot and then it kind of takes the pressure off the back so you kind of give your feet a rest if you're ever like struggling. Is that a train? Come on, we can beat the train. Come on, scooter, let's go, let's go. Oh, <laughs> I'm going too fast. I keep forgetting to use region as well, man. That's what this bike is made for and I'm just not, I'm not using the main feature. I'm just so used to uh, brake levers. It's something you really got to get used to. It's like almost having two throttles on both sides. It feels very odd, but region works so good. I really need to start using it more. So right now, uh, being down two battery bars, we're down to three. 
uh, 10 minutes on the scooter, coming back almost 11 minutes. I'm able to still hit, uh, I'm hitting 65 kilometers per hour. And I want to say the speedo was off one or two kilometers per hour. So just keep that in mind. But uh, we're jamming. We're doing pretty good. This side's a lot easier than the other side we took down. So I'm on it. It's not really hot right now, so I'm not worried about the controller overheating. I know that was a big concern about these uh, Apollo 3 scooters is you're running one Mach 3 controller for both motors. And I heard it's a really, uh, I don't know how you would say it, but instead of running two controllers for two motors, you're using one controller. And it's a great controller, but a lot of people reported it like overheating, trying to push all this power out of it. I haven't experienced that yet. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but right now it's not 100 degrees right now. It's probably like in the like high 70s right now. It feels pretty good, actually. All right, so we just riding in the street. I wouldn't suggest this unless uh, you guys have a mirror somewhere to like check your surroundings or something. But just gotta be as careful as possible. Careful as possible. Oh man. We're moving. Look at all the cars we're passing. Dang, this scooter's fast. Bye bye, people. I'm still down, uh, just two battery bars, man. Not too bad. And definitely look, uh, it says 1430. Well, 14 minutes, 30 seconds. Definitely taking me a lot longer to get home just because I set a little longer at uh, work. Oh, now we're, there we go. Now we're down to uh, two battery bars left. All right, we're probably done. I wanna say like 12 and a half miles so far. I probably have another mile and a half to go, roughly. I'm gonna say this trip is probably gonna be about 14 miles and I took the longer way because of construction going on. But uh, not too bad in Luda mode, I guess. They say about 25 miles of range, but it's gonna depend on your weight. I don't know. I would probably say about 20 to be realistic. After 20, you're really just praying that uh, <laughs> you're gonna make the extra five miles, depending on how you ride. If you ride just like me, then yeah. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Again, if you're lighter, you're probably gonna easily get 25 miles, but if you're a lot heavier, probably in the upper like 260 to 300 pound range roughly, you're definitely gonna get worse range. So just really keep that in mind. But man, I'm sad to say this is actually probably gonna be the last video we do on this scooter. I love it so much, but with all the products and stuff coming in, I just can't continue to keep doing videos on these things. I don't have a storage unit, I have nowhere to put them. So uh, yeah, after this video is done, it's gonna be gone. I already have someone that wants it, so it's not gonna be around any much longer. But I gotta say, this is a fantastic scooter. The only thing I really felt wrong with it was when you're over like 62 or 63 kilometers per hour, you just have that little vibration and that's it. And then I would maybe say the price of it's kind of uh, kind of expensive too. I would have liked to seen it cheaper, but it's a high quality scooter. And I feel like it goes pretty fast for what it is, but it's not the fastest scooter out there for the price. So it depends on what you're looking for, but highly recommend this thing. And I gotta let this car go over. I'm going just as fast as car, so they taking a while. And someone dropped their hostess out of their car. All right, so I'm gonna get over. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, I got turn signals. I forgot I got turn signals. <laughs> Goddamn cars. <laughs> oh my God, let me use my turn signal. There we go. Why not use these the whole time I did my trip? And they turn off too, which is cool. I like that so real quick. Let me go down another street because I'm an idiot and I totally forgot to use a turn signal. I want to show these to you. So you have another turn signal on this side. So you use your right hand and there you go. They're bright too, man. Those things are really bright. I love the fact that it automatically turns off. So it turns like that, it's perfect. Now, if you're sitting at a light, I wonder if you hold it, if it will stay. I'm holding it, nothing. As soon as I let off, it stays but it's not going to actually stay on. It's gonna turn off like it has been. See, I didn't do anything, it turned off automatically. So if you are sitting at a light, you're definitely gonna to have to keep pushing the turn signal over and over and over if you want it to stay on. You know, it's not gonna just, you hold it and maybe it stays on for longer, it doesn't. Check that out. Those are your turn signals right there. Way brighter than the brake light, but watch, they'll just turn off. 
super super cool and here is the right side as well there you go dang that's bright let me show you guys in the front really quick and then you guys can see the headlight from the front look at that fantastic good job on them for doing that it's actually very well integrated into this uh scooter but uh <laughs> Other than that, guys, I pretty much did about 14 miles. And, oh, you know, we can go to Voltage. Oh, my bad. Um, so 50.2 volts. I'm almost home, so that's 50 volts even. And under throttle, it's uh, 46.2. So there you go. That's your uh, information. When I use Regen, oh, dang, when you re use Regen, it goes up to like 52 or 53, but obviously it's not retaining all that voltage but you could definitely see the voltage spike which is super cool but <laughs> all right hopefully you guys uh like this video on the Apollo phantom v3 make sure to check the links down in the description i have coupon codes that will take money off of the scooter and if you guys are seeing this like months down the road and the coupons don't work unfortunately most of the time they just work for a little bit after I make these videos, but sometimes they stick around, but sometimes they change stuff on their website or maybe they have a sale. My coupon code won't work when it's on sale. So if you guys are interested in it, buy it now with the coupon code. You're not going to go wrong. Like I said, it's not the fastest scooter. Definitely it performs very well and it's very comfortable. So if that's what you're looking for and you're looking for uh, quality, it's great, especially the stem too. It's not moving whatsoever. I like it. So, all right guys, see you in the next one. You guys are the true MVPs. Peace out.